What's up guys, Antigris here, and today we're going to go over how to install Windows 8 on your Mac or Windows. Um, obviously this is going to be specifically for Mac, but you follow the general basic steps for Windows, so if you need, do need help, I will answer your questions below, but both, it'll be pretty simple for both of you. Now, the things you need are a blank DVD, about 40 gigs of extra room on your hard drive, and the latest version of Boot Camp on your computer. Now, that is, that is free. It comes with all your computers. Just make sure it's updated. Um, now, your first step is to click the link in the description and go to the official Microsoft Developers page. You're going to click Get Started and download the version you need. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to go through that again. <coughs> uh, sorry. Uh, next step is you're going to exit out of that, and um, you're going to get a file like this. Drag it onto your desktop simply for ease of use. I do that to a lot of files, as you can see. And um, you're going to open up your disk utility. Now, once this opens, it gets a little bit complicated here, and I can't show you exactly because of all the... Uh, I have it already. But we're gonna, what you're going to do is you're going to... <laughs> I can't talk today. You're going to go to Open Disk Image, and then you're going to select that file that you want. Now, once it's done, it's going to come up with this. You're going to go up here and click Burn and then it'll burn it to the uh, the blank DVD you have and you will now have a bootable DVD and you definitely need that for this uh, <laughs> it's basically the most key thing if you just drag it out of the DVD it won't work because the disc won't be bootable and it just doesn't work so uh, after you're done with that after it's done burning that'll take about a half hour uh, you simply go up here and go to your boot camp assistant now this is boot camp guys everybody should know what this is um, you already click I have because there is no support software for Windows 8. It's an alpha or beta or whatever the hell you want to call it. So, um, yeah, you just click I already have, click continue, and uh, we're just going to hit start the Windows installer. A uh, thing that says to partition your hard drive will come up with a little slider, and um, all you're going to do is slide it to about 40 gigs on the Windows. It needs about 10 or 15 to install. Plus, you want some room to store stuff. Um, games work great. It's just overall you're gonna want some extra room then you're gonna hit start the Windows installer um, and then all you're gonna do is insert your disk again with the fully burned ISO and uh, hit start installation what will happen after that is your computer will reboot onto that disk and um, some black like you know you're you know what happens when you start up a computer and uh, it'll kinda go through some text on your screen before it gets started up uh, that's what happens. It'll go through some text, and then you simply follow the steps, and it will install it. The overall installation process took about an hour, hour and a half for me, uh, but but that's probably because a disk was in there the whole time. But it should be shorter for you guys. My computer is getting old and is relatively slow. Um, and once you guys get in there, there's a couple issues you're, that are going to pop up. Um, one, the internet is a bit inconsistent. Um, goes on and off but mine seemed to have settled mine has seemed to settle down so it shouldn't be too big an issue the second issue which is probably the biggest is that the sound doesn't work I'm trying to find a fix if I do it'll be in the comment section below and there will be a video response but as of now I don't have an, a uh, fix and the third thing is guys this is the absolute best way to try out Windows 8 one you don't need to commit a whole computer to it two it'll run just as fast as it would on a PC of the same specs. Because it's boot camp. Parallels, that's a virtual machine. That's different. This is actually turning your computer into two different computers, each of the same speed, because it doesn't run at the same time. And it works awesome, guys. I highly recommend doing this. There's really no reason not to. Anyway, guys, I'm Antigris. Hopefully this went smoothly for you. Uh, simply leave comments with any questions you have. And, um, yeah, uh, good luck, guys. Peace.